what's up guys it's cover code here and welcome back to part 8 of our zero to hero series last time we covered how you can use functions and this time we're going to cover and learn about for loops so let me just open back up the script that we were using last time remove everything in the script and let's get right to it so let me just give you guys a use case for for loops okay so if i wanted to print my name out uh three times i would write this covert code okay and copy and paste that three times now if you have the knowledge that you know you're gonna get after this video this is the way you would do the same thing so for i is equal to one to three do that okay so let me just explain this but first i just want to show you that this works so this is what happens if you use the print um you know three times it's going to print out my name three times however if you use the for loop you only have to write that once and this will handle that for you as you guys can see okay so it printed out my name three times now that might seem like it's not a huge deal considering we're only working with three uh, things so like 3 printouts however imagine if you had to do this 100 times for some reason you'd have to print my name like this for 100 times and that is just way too redundant to actually use and that is where for loops come in so the way you would do this 100 times is you would just modify this here and i'm going to explain this to you guys very soon but this would just print out my name 100 times without the redundancy and pain of having to write it out 100 times so let me show you guys how that works so just stop and let's go to the script and this is how you like declare a for loop okay so for okay so that's the keyword now you're going to initialize a variable here it can be called anything it I like the the standard is I but you could call this counter or you know tutorial or whatever you guys want but I'm just going going to use I so for I so you're initializing the variable I okay and now the way you would normally initialize variables is like this so if you were initializing a normal variable you would do I is equal to something right same thing except you're just writing that after the for loop for i is equal to zero so this is the number that the for loop will start off from now then you would just write a comma okay and up until now you're just initializing a for loop by using the keyword for and you've initialized a variable called i and set that to zero okay all in the same line now for i is equal to zero comma and now you're going to give it the number that you actually want to go up to so let's say i want to go up to 50 times so i want whatever is going to be inside the for loop to happen for 50 times and you just type 50. now this is going to go from zero to 50 okay and then you're just going to top that off aka finish it off with do similar to how you would use then with the if conditions okay and whatever is between the do and the end will get looped 50 times okay so i could print out covert code in here and it, this would print out covert code 50 times okay so as you guys can see it printed out 51 times and i'll show you why okay so print i remember i is a variable and i is essentially the counter okay so it's going to be i is equal to zero and then i is going to be one i is going to be two up until it reaches 50 okay so let me just show you what this does um so here you can see that it started off from zero okay we're printing out i remember that so i was zero because we set that to zero and it's being added by one every single time up until it reaches 50 and now if you count all of these you'll get 51 because it started from zero and not from one so if you want this to print out 50 times you would start it off at one I 
and this is how much you want to add by so we're going to start at five up until we reach 50 okay and we want to add five every time by default this is always one so if i just run this it's going to count up from five to 50 using one increment okay as you guys can see here however if we just set that to five okay it's going to go 5 10 15 20 because it's adding five every time okay so it's going to go 50 45 40 all the way down until it reaches five okay like this now this can be pretty handy in several situations so just keep that in mind okay so you can either um, use for loops to print out something, you know, X amount of times, or you can use it to count. But in general, for loops are used to sort of keep your code tidy, okay? So if you have something which is pretty repetitive, like if you want to print out my name several amount of times, or if you want to spawn in a part, for example, like 50 times, then you would use a for loop instead of copying and pasting the code. That's okay. essentially all I have, guys, on for loops. That's how they work. Just practice, as I said, make different kinds of for loops. And, you know, just practice, practice, practice. That's how you're going to get better at scripting. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, leave suggestions in the comment section down below, suggesting what videos I should make next. And I'll see you guys next time.